Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and I am back with another new video and today I am going to show you how to download a meteorological data from online. So let's get started. So first of all you have to uh, go to google.com google.com and you have to write power access power data access viewer okay then you will get this website link you have to click for once here you will see a, a pop-up box and you have um, I would like to choose interannual and the next thing you have to do you have to uh, identify or you have to um, select the specific location or particular locations of, of which you want to download the data so I would like to choose my location okay so which one okay I would like to download the meteorological data of uh, Chittagong City Corporation so I just click here and then again I will click here oh, okay so the latitude and longitude has been selected so the next thing you need to do you have to choose the date frames so I chose from 1981 to 2019 <coughs> and the additional things you need to do you have to choose the specific file type where you uh, want to see the data so I chose CSP and <clears throat> there are a lot of lots of data here so you have to select which data you want to download and the first thing I, I want to download is precipitation and second things I want to download relative humidity and surface pressure okay and I want to download temperature minimum and maximum temperature at two meters so I click here and no, not this one maximum temperature two meter and minimum temperature at two meters okay and wind wind speed uh, I want the wind speed at minimum wind speed at 10 meters and maximum wind speed at 10 meters and that's all okay so this this data I want to obtain and the final things you need to do is just you have to click on submit Uh, okay so here I got CSB okay so I just click here an Excel sheet will be downloaded and what you need to do you have to just open it I just open it so let's see so here I got the Excel sheet okay mm. yeah this is the excel sheet and where each and every data are available and uh, here different small code has been used for a specific uh, parameter but the elaboration has been given in the above uh, row sorry above column so we have you can check it out here so uh, you can do uh, uh, some additional things here for example you can uh, create graphs charts um, using this data in Excel sheet within a very few seconds so uh, for example this is the precipitation data so I can uh, create graph uh, how the precipitation uh, rate has been changed over time from 1981 to 2019 uh, so I'm going to show you it so for example this is the precipitation data so I just take them okay 2019 okay 
so I'm going to in uh, insert I just click here and recommended chart so yes here you go so this charts actually showing how the precipitation uh, has been changed and uh, <coughs> you can keep title here and even the axis uh, uh, identification uh, value and uh, and another things you can change the graphs and chart as well for example i change the graph and uh, you can you can also change the graph it can be column chart or pie chart for example this is column chart so a lot of things you can do so uh, if you have data you can do it um, uh, do the analysis in many ways so thank you keep watching my videos and uh, till then Allah Hafiz